This video is the full version of all the steps that I took while I was making my DIY light dome. Um, you can see a comparison here between that and the Godox Litemon. Um, this is for anyone who wanted a little bit more of a detailed explanation on the process. So I started out with a shiny cake tin and my LED strips. Remember that you need to get LED strips that are daylight and have a CRI of above 90. I um, stuck the LED strips onto the sides of the tin and not to the bottom because we want the light to bounce around within the tin before exiting. I kind of messed up and I didn't leave space for the photo clamp, but I was able to make some space and shove it in. That's what she said. Next, I measured out the circumference of the tin and then I marked that out on my styrofoam. My intention here was to draw a shape that when folded would become a cone, but somehow that didn't work out. I did not grow up doing arts and crafts and I cannot for the life of me understand what I did wrong, but I don't really care. I'm sure you can do it better. In the end, it turned out looking like one of the bonnets from The Handmaid's Tale. And um, yeah, I might do this for Halloween this year. Next, I slathered the styrofoam in glue and I pressed the kitchen foil down onto it. Then using double-sided tape, I stuck the whole cone wannabe to the sides of the cake tin and secured it with duct tape. Moving on, I measured the circumference of the cone closer to the exit point, which I didn't really need to do in that way because I could have just measured it on the outside but it turns out that I actually didn't need to do it at all. All I had to do was cut out the strip and see how much of it fit inside the hole, which is also what she said. After taking the measurement and marking it out, I used double-sided tape to close the circle and have it fit nicely into the cone or the cone wannabe. I then measured the width of the strip and using this I cut out strips of the dark cardboard which I will be using to make the grid. You can see here that I folded it in a zigzag pattern and um, it makes kind of like an accordion shape. This was too long for the frame that we had so I cut it into half and I lined up the vertices uh, together and in this way, I was able to form a sort of net, like a network. I then inserted this into the circular frame that we already made and I glued the sides to the circle, to the strip, so that everything stays in place. And there you have it, that's the grid and it fits perfectly. Now moving on to the diffusion, I used my old raincoat, um, which I cut out, cut out the circle and glued the circle to the sides of the circular frame and the grid that we already have. Now it's nice that this is like just one whole unit on its own, so I don't have to worry about any other moving parts. Because of the strip that we cut out earlier, we don't even need to glue this in because it just fits like a glove. This video might have been a little bit out of context if you haven't watched the original video, so please go watch that. 